Okay, so for some reason, grabbing a drink proved to be more of a dick than it was uh, supposed to. Uh, anyways, oh, whoops, gotta actually click the screen. Um, anyways. So now, proper introduction into this level. Do not point out the fact that the reds and the blues are the same. It's completely pointless crap. Besides, I already know, so... But why do you think I would have pointed it out anyways? Anyway, uh, first thing we're doing here is going straight to fight the... Ah. Welcome back, sound glitches. We missed you so, so much, didn't we? Anyway, so first first task here is to get this uh, weird bloody boss quote-unquote boss fight over and done with so yeah it's uh, this thing hello anyone anyone in white in there yes yeah, something's awake yeah um, introducing now the smoky prog I believe I've made a mentions to this in earlier segments, but yeah, um, this thing is pretty dangerous. Thank Christ that it's not in the bloody second game, because if it would be, it's a bit dick. Although having said that, whites could kill it, because I mean, this thing kills Pikmin by way of poisonous gas, so... Apparently there's some sort of weird glitch that you could do with this and a, um, and a yellow wallybog. So yeah, we've got this thing running around, it, go, it goes straight to the campsite, and it uproots any Pikmin that are actually lodged into the ground. Ah! Yeah, that's what it does. Hey, right, get back here! Damn you! Um... Oh, I thought he was bloody stuck there for a second. Would've made... Would've made this fight easier. Oh, Christ. Yeah, um... This guy is a bit of a dick to do. See, he lit. He, 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 when you kill him, the thingy he leaves behind gives you a hundred, a hundred bloody pigment of whatever color you take it to. Thing is, though, you're more, you're likely to not make up for your losses. So, I think that's the big issue. So, my plan with the yellows has utterly failed because I've lost 15 of them and I haven't even managed to get a hit on this thing. Can't even hit him with Olimar. Come on, move away! I'm not forking out any reds until you bloody move the fuck away, can't Okay, maybe that would've... Okay, that seemed to work. Ah! He bloody... He chucked a one... At, he's going back to the red... God damn it! Is this one particular segment just going to be fo entirely focused entirely on this bloody prop fight? And he died. Move away from the joint. Jesus Christ. He sticks... He, he His general focus is around the red bloody onion. He will not move from there. The onion... The red... The reds are my fighters. If I don't... If I can't move there... If I can't bloody... Get him away from there. I can't bring my fighters out. And there's another Pikmin dead. This thing is going to be a generic asshole to bloody kill. Here he goes. Stick. He's back here. Damn it. Yeah, because he frick. They, they freaking bounce off the fucking. Thing in the oh god damn it he killed another three more. Right, I have three left. And they're leaves. Like that's not gonna end in freaking travesty. Ah, run, run, run. Fork out, fork out more, fork out more, fork out more. I've got ten with me. That should do the trick, provided I can actually get enough freaking time to throw them at him. Go, go! I lost one. I lost another one. Damn it! Grab it out! Come on! Fucking Jesus Christ! I seem to be getting into a rhythm now. I 
think that's the whole idea, is if I get into a rhythm, I can actually bloody, like, set it up so I can actually kill him. Without taking so, without taking as much more deaths. Come on. Come on, ten more. Alright. Uh oh. Oh crap, there's three more gone. Come on. Go! If they, were, if they weren't all freaking leaves, I wouldn't have had to worry too much. Ah! No, 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 God, no, for fuck's sake. Wait, what the shit? Okay, completely confused. This is some weird shit. Oh, God, no, don't go into the water. Don't go in the fucking water. Great. You are a lucky man. No, you're not, because you're dead. Fuck it. Okay, I have one out on the field. Why do I have two? Why am I, like, controlling two? This is stupid. Ugh. This is stupid. Yeah, this is the... That's the problem. It's... It's... It's one of those freaking... Ah! Where's supposed to the link? Ow! Oh god damn it. Great. Well, he's dead. He's finally dead. And he leaves that behind. So, I'm going to, have to fork out as many reds as I possibly can. then fork out a random number of some other bloody colour. Okay, so I seem to be back to normal when it comes to the Pikmin colours, that's great. Fork out 25 yellows because I might be able to get a piece back at this point. Actually wait, no, 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 I think I should have gone with the blues, but doesn't, but matters, but matters it not. Grab this, grab it. There we go. 100 extra reds. Fantastic. You already know this. This is the second straight segment in which you've done it. And look at that number go up and up and up. Now that's a now that is a better number. Now then, our main focus next is to actually get a piece to actually make this segment somewhat of a success. So, um we're gonna do this. All right, so how how in the heck are we gonna do this? Um, I think we're going after that piece. So I think we'll put away our yellows since they're not gonna serve much of a purpose aside from bombing walls, which are pro we're probably not gonna do in this segment. We've gotta wait until they go back in. It's all bloody inconvenient. And then that freaking that. That noise is going to be really annoying if it keeps going on. It's being stupid like that. So anyway, disband the Pikmin. Grab the blues. And then we will... I didn't even know about this until I saw Beckdip's LP with this. It's a new segment that I can make references now. But yeah, anyway. Uh, they're just going to fall off. Stop. Stop wasting my fucking time. Jesus. Oh, come on! Get up on that fucking ledge! Jesus, really that hard. Okay. Oh, whoops. Got it. Uh, uh. Okay. This is being... This is... Oh, stop being obnoxious, for God's sake. Stay up on the fucking thing. As soon as I pick... As soon as I pick this one up and throw it, another one's just gonna drop. 
Come on, go around. Nobody fall off. I whistled you too. That does not mean you can just, like, do that. Ah, crap in the Nile. Stay put. Don't, no, if any of you fall off, you're being left behind. And no, not because I decide that, it's because, like, you'll be sort of, like, out of bounds ish. Thing it. Oh, for, oh, for the love of crap. My god. At this rate, I'm not even gonna get the piece back in time, despite how close it, I am. Despite how close it is to the ship. When I whistle a group, I whistle the entire fucking group. Stop being a dick. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, you. Yeah, there, there better be enough of yous. No, there's not, for Christ's sake. You're a bunch of fucking dicks. Sorry for the language, but god damn it. Getting the piece should not be this hard. It's not this hard, and for some reason it is this hard. It doesn't. You see, yeah, you. And you know that, and you know how much sense that just. You just know how much sense that makes. For God's sake! Oh. I am, I am, I am genuinely surprised at how much I'm screwing this, this piece up. All I want is the bloody shit piece. For some reason the game is just, basically just thinking of a whole bunch of different ways and saying no, you can't have it, fuck you. Okay. Can you grab the piece now? Right, disband. That didn't, it didn't have to be that hard. Seriously. It's the repair type bolt. And this thing should have been brought back, this, this thing should have been back, should have been right back inside the ship. I could have been doing something else here that would have actually made some sort of progress, but no, the game decided no, we're just going to make it as much of an asshole as we possibly can to actually get the piece back. Damn it, I'm not finding any wallywogs. So just because I feel like it, since I have enough reds to burn, I'm going to go kill that um, all there. Purely because I feel like it. And I'm using nothing but leaves. This is going to end well, especially since there's two of them and a freaking... Oh god, and there's a puffy blowhog as well. I'm amazed that I did not notice that until right now. Ah! Dick! Uh. This segment's ending in tra- this segment's being a travesty. I hope it's not- I hope it's not the same bloody case for the next segment. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm just having some really shit luck. Like when it comes to um, games, because I'm doing another, because I'm doing a run through Banjo Tooie, and I haven't even bloody gone on it since Thursday morning. And like, it's dude, stay in one spot so I can actually pile some some of these freaking Pikmin on you. Die. Come on, fall to the ground. Ah! Dog pile, dog pile, dog pile, dog pile it. Yay! And this is another one of those, um, creatures which are going to drop a shit ton of pellets, which I could use, but can't because I don't have enough time to get them back. Awesome! 
Well, there's nothing else I can do here, so I'm just gonna end the day. I'll kill those ball bears on the next day. <sighs> so yay. First day here turned out to be pretty shit house, but at least we made some kind of progress. I mean we've got a piece, so it's not like we're off track or anything, we're right ahead of schedule, so. There's no excuse for me to be bitching. 31 and a half minutes into this segment, that's probably going to be at least another 15 on top. <sighs> Yay, nine more parts. I wonder if I will be able to gather them in time. <laughs>